So coaches like a lot of plays on our offense, we will find a way to run our quarterback in order to make him a threat. And now it's true 11 on 11 versus the defense. So what we have here is a situation where we're going to motion this direction. We're going to run gut back here and we're using our tailback now to influence out. Typically we'll hand off our gut play to our tailback, but if they're keying him now, that's going to pull them out. Or since the quarterback's running the ball, our tailback's not involved in the blocking scheme. You can move him over here in trips, maybe to get them to, you know, break this outside linebacker over here a little bit more. You can move him up here to the top side or replace him with a receiver just to spread out the defense a little bit more because he becomes what we call in our offense, our bonus player, because he's not involved directly in the blocking scheme. So here's our motion. And then a quarterback's just going to take a step one way, turn the shoulders and then hit the a gap vertical. Same thing right here, influencing out with the tailback, creating that flow right there. Those inside linebackers both bit. And we get an extra, extra few yards out of it. Again, just a little, little shoulder shake, just a quick little step one way and then hit the A gap by our quarterback. This defense here is an aggressive 3-3 stack defense. Guard does a good job of kind of turning the corner right there with the pressure. Our quarterback does a good job of getting through there, getting some good yards for us. One more right here from my Broomfield team. Again, we're using the tailback to lead out, to influence out. And then hit the A gap for a good gain right there. Okay, here, coaches, you can see we're in a spread set right here, and we're going to run our rocket sweep motion with our tailback here. You saw that we can run our tailback um, on our rocket scheme to spread right here, and what that does is that really spreads out the defense a little bit more. And then when we do this, we influence out like we're going to get rocket sweep. Quarterback just sticks his foot in the ground, hits the A-gap on our gut scheme. Quick little shoulder shake and then hit the A gap right there. Get the linebackers leaning and then try to hit it on the back side of them. It's a good view right here of our play side guard dipping and ripping underneath. You can see him dip that shoulder right there. He should have gone to this backside backer right here. They ended up double teaming the front side backer, but he should have gone all the way to the backside backer. But the influence of the motion move that backer out of position where he couldn't even fall back in to make the play. So coaches, at times we will pull our tackle when we are running our gut scheme. So what this does for us is so many teams read our guards to find out where we are going with the play that now what we'll do is we will run our gut with our tackle. So in this situation here, which would have been a situation where we would call 122 gut, in this situation, when we call 322 gut, that tells our tackle to pull, and then our guard just stays home right there. And any linebacker that's reading right here, it's going gonna, it's gonna to just add a little bit more confusion to their keys right here. They're gonna, the guard's going to stay home on this side, tackle's going to pull, and then we see some good effects against disciplined linebackers with that. So again, this guard right here, if they're reading him and he's stepping this way to replace for the tackle and the tackle pulls, it creates some hesitation right here and it just throws off all their keys that they've probably been working on all week long to defend the offense. So here's what it looks like right here. There's our tackle pulling 58 does a good, good path right there, getting up into the line of scrimmage, getting his head in the hole. And again, our guard stays home. This is a defense right here that plays very disciplined linebackers. They coach them up very well, and you can see that they see that guard stay home, and that influences them a step out of position there. 
Another one right here with the tackle gut. And again, just a little bit of hesitation by the linebackers. Tackle does, does a good job of getting his head in the hole right there. And our back does a good job hitting the seam there for a good gain. Coaches, I really hope you got some great information from that YouTube video. Again, hit the subscribe and like button down below. It gives us valuable data. And you also get notified when I upload new content to this channel. Thanks for watching, coaches.